Hey, this thing says I'm live. Somebody out there say hey and let me know that the audio is working and everything. It's April the 5th, 2020, 9.30 in the morning. And huge, huge thing just happened and I just wanted to come and hang out with you guys for a little bit but it's Sunday morning we'd normally be in Sunday school right about now but since it's the quarantine and all that they closed church and all that 10 30 there's gonna be a Facebook live of the church though but anyways huge 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 thing happened this morning just five minutes ago we tripped over the hundred thousand subscriber mark and I wanted to stop and say a big thanks to everybody who tunes in and watches all the videos. We spend an incredible amount of time making these videos. My wife would tell you all the money that we spent making these videos, guns and ammo. But big thanks to everybody. Big thanks to my family, my wife. I spend an incredible amount of time on these videos, guys, between the filming and the editing and all the weekends and the traveling to go film it's pretty much ridiculous how much time i spent on youtube but i love it thanks to everybody for tuning in we got people coming in the chat justin morris says hey mac daddy says what's up zane says congrats country boy says sup josh says hey how's it going it's going good what's up rs mangara man the chat just exploded real quick richard's in here bronco fan dara Willie, Ty, Forrest, but if you're just tuning in, we just hit 100,000 subscribers and I wanted to come on here live. Let me, let me do this share screen deal. I don't even actually know what I'm doing. I've only done this like one or two times for my computer. Hmm, share screen. What do I want to do? Uh, I'll just share the whole screen, I think. Yeah. Yep, that didn't work. Now I'm seeing all kind of goofy stuff. So let me stop that and try to share it again. Hey, Sir Conference is in here. I'm fumbling around trying to mess with this uh, share screen stuff. And I don't know what I'm doing on this program. Chrome tab. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Hey, and it showed up. That's what I was trying to share and get on the screen there. We finally hit 100,000 subscribers. But let me uh, let me check out the chat, guys. Nick Grab says, what? Hoo -hoo. Hey, Nick. How you doing, man? Everybody in the chat saying congrats. But I say it every video. I said, yeah, really appreciate you guys watching. We put a ton of work into it. We have a good time. Saturday, I was at the range yesterday hanging out with Paul. We had an absolute blast, and we've got some crazy stuff coming this week. I can't. Even, we had a smile on our face all day yesterday. We filming a bunch of crazy, ridiculous stuff. But if you're not on my Instagram, check out my Instagram. There's a bunch of stuff on there that doesn't make it to YouTube. And I put some crazy, hilarious stuff that me and Paul were doing yesterday up already on Instagram. So go check that out. Uh, but hit me in the chat real quick. Everybody blow up the chat. Let me know what you guys are passionate about, what you what you guys want to see, because that's what I want to get in the videos coming up next. So y'all blow up the chat real quick and let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, Gun Doctor's here. Everybody go check out Gun Doctor. He's a friend of mine. Pat RMG's in here. Everybody go check out Pat. He's a good friend of mine, too. Hunter says 12 gauge. I will take the 12 gauge out on Saturday and we'll do some 12 gauge videos. Somebody requested a specific video Friday night and we went out on Saturday and filmed it. So believe it or not, a ton of our videos are simply somebody asking, saying, hey, go do this. And we do it because y'all have better imagination than I do. Bill says he wants to see a 30 carbine Ruger Blackhawk. Probably a small chance on that one, but if we can find one, we might be able to do it. 
ZZXO says more 25. We can do that. Bryson's got a Glock 19. Boo on Glock 19. No, I'm just kidding. Glocks are good. I just like to be weird and do things that most people don't do. Josh says test a whole bunch of 223556. We'll do that very soon. Boris Bang Hero, blow some stuff up. We will do that. Mr. X says 4570. Absolutely have plans to do more of that. I got to get some more ammo. I literally have like one 4570 bullet. Um, Paul says a free AR with every subscription. I wish we could do that, literally. Um, hopefully, we can get to the point where we can do some crazy stuff like that. Time being, I'm broke. That's my wife. <laughs> uh, Eric says you're crashing the server. Country boy can survive. As do I own a Desert Eagle? No, I do not own a Desert Eagle. But my good friend Paul has a Desert Eagle. We get out from time to time. Mac Daddy exotic uh, shotgun rounds. Michael says 12 gauge for 50 BMG paper plates. <clears throat> Chris says archery versus small calibers. That might actually be interesting. I haven't put my bow and arrow in a video in probably a year or the crossbow. How many balloons to take a 45? That would probably be impossible to get them balloons straight enough because it would take a ton of balloons. We could probably try it, though. Eric says 308 bullpup. Becky says hey from Arizona. Mr. X says, yep, everyone is broke right now. Not everybody, but everybody I know is broke right now, yeah. Dr. Thunder says on the way to a million someday. That would be awesome. Timothy says good morning. Crossbow sounds cool. James says Remington 870. Brian Oliver, Springfield XDM. So sneak peek on some stuff I'm going to be doing real soon. Uh, next gun that I'm trying to buy is a 300 Winchester short Magnum, 300 WSM. Adventure Cowboy says howdy. Everybody go check out Adventure Cowboy, a good friend of mine um, up in Montana. Go check him out. But what I'll say in my next rifle I'm trying to buy is a 300 Winchester short magnum and put that in a ton of videos and do videos with the seven millimeter remington magnum the 300 win mag i want to shoot some 308 long range i got some more 338 lapua ammo in the mail the other day hunter says am i sick no i'm not sick i'm pretty tired though but i'm not sick <clears throat> christian says 300 wsm is awesome yes it is even though I haven't shot one, but I've watched videos and read a lot about it. Go check out Christian, too. Uh, but, yeah, I was just talking to my buddies Alabama Arsenal the other day. Y'all go check out Alabama Arsenal and said, I need to come down to Alabama and film some videos with those guys sometime soon. So maybe in the next couple of weeks we can get that planned out. Alabama Arsenal is some more really cool YouTuber dudes I hang out with sometimes. They have taught me a whole lot. What else are you guys talking about? 243 WSM. I never shot that. Or 223 RSM. Steven says 25 out 6. That's one I want to get too. So here's what I want to get. I'm giving you all the secrets. But here's if I had a, if I had three thousand dollars to go blow on some guns, I would get that 300 WSM, seven millimeter 08. You guys request that a lot. 22 250, 25 06. A 350 legend bolt action and a 223 bolt action. So there are six guns I need to go buy right there. That's what my plans are. If and when I can buy those rifles, that's what I'm planning on getting next. <clears throat> Love from Jerusalem. What's up, Jerusalem? Can't decide between 450 Bushmaster or 4570. John Myra says. So I'm going to tell you my opinion. I would. It depends on the type. What Are you going to just use it for target hunting or are you going to use it for hunting or what? And how much do you shoot? Because you can get 450 Bushmaster ammo a lot cheaper than 4570 ammo. No matter what 4570 you get, it almost all of it's going to be $1.50, $2 a bullet. But you can get 45 Bushmaster for under a dollar. So if you shoot a ton, I would get 450 Bushmaster. If you shoot past... 100 yards, I would probably get 450 Bushmaster, but that's my opinion. Some people are hardcore 450 Bushmaster. Some people are hardcore 4570. Raptor's in here. What's up, Raptor? 
Um, Gerhard says it's 4.40 p.m. in South Africa. Bob says, what about some music? So, Bob, uh, I've got like five or six songs written. The music stuff is so hard to do for videos because normally it takes me like 50 takes to record it. I don't have some kind of comp complicated you know, recording studio or anything. I literally turn the camera on and hit record. And then I got to film the music videos. But I have like five or six, five songs written. I just got to record them and do the music video. But I'm excited about them. Uh, Black Diamond Guns of Gear says, congrats on 100. With Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate that big time. Let's get that Coyote hunting video going. So check it out. I looked at, I checked my trail cameras that are like 100 yards behind my house. There was one coyote on it last week, and there were some turkeys. So I'm going to do some more scouting. Uh, I was actually going to try to do some stuff out in the woods today, but I think I'm going to make today just a family day because I've been working so much. But, um, yes, do not let me forget about the coyote hunting. Uh, that will be a whole lot of fun, and they're back there. And, yeah, we'll do that. We'll make it happen. What do you prefer, AR-15 or 300 AAC blackout? So, that's going to be a, a two-part answer. If the ammo cost was the same, 300 blackout all day, I'd probably never touch it another uh, 5.56. Five, but 300 blackout ammo is a lot more expensive. So, if I had to pick one, regardless, I would pick AR-15, 556, five, just because the ammo is cheaper and I'm broke. But if I was a bazillionaire, I would get rid of all the 223s and just have all 300 blackouts. Um, can, Donger Operator says, congrats, 100 is a huge milestone. More 50 BMG verse things. I shot the 50 yesterday. We'll shoot it a lot. Uh, Y'all hit me with suggestions on stuff you want to see us to blow up with the 50 BMG. I'm not that creative of a person like I was saying earlier. Literally, a ton of our videos are just you guys commenting, you should do this, and then we go do it. We filmed some of that stuff yesterday. Reco says 10 millimeter. Shot some 10 millimeter yesterday, so that's coming in videos this week, but we'll do some more. Hit me with some ideas. Christian says 300 blackout is definitely good for some deer hunting. Not kidding. Um, I plan to shoot some deer in Tennessee if everything works out great with my 300 blackout. I'm trying to get my dad his first deer ever, and I want him to shoot it with my 300 blackout that I just got not too long ago. I do not have the U.S. Army budget. No, I wish I did. Uh, Brian says 22 to 50 ammo for deer. I don't know because I've never shot 22 250, but I'll give you my general answer when people ask me what ammo to get. Get the cheapest ammo you can find. So if you're shooting within 200 yards, the cheapest ammo at the store is going to group good enough to shoot a deer within 200 yards. You know, if you can shoot, the cheapest ammo you can find is good enough. Unless you're trying to shoot a thousand yards that's when you need to have some match grade ammo that's going to hit close to the same spot every time. But if you're deer hunting, any caliber, get the cheapest you can find within 200 yards. You're good to go. Raptor says, what's your favorite CMMG 308 or Savage 338 Lapua? Hands down, CMMG 308. I wish I could just hand that to all you guys and say shoot it. If you're not familiar, you haven't seen the videos recently, just got in a, a CMMG Endeavor 308. It's a 308 AR long barrel. We just got it set up with a long range stock grip. Uh, right on 24 power zoom scope. And it's sweet. I can't wait to shoot it at long range and start practicing for hunting season. Adventure Cowboy says, what guns will you bring out hunting this fall? That's a good question. So here's what I have in my mind, and we can talk about it. Uh, one, I'm going to have that CMMG 308 I was just talking about. I'm planning on doing a bunch of practice with that and making that primary hunting rifle. So if I can if I can get consistent out to four or 500, that would be the one that I would hands down want to bring as a primary hunting rifle. Uh, just got in some match grade 
uh, Norma hunting ammo for the 308. I really want to try out. Number two, you guys check this out. I'm going to grab something. I'm in the bedroom right here. Hold on. More 50 BMG or 300 Win Mag or I want to shoot your new rifle, Adventure Cowboy. Adventure Cowboy just got in a new awesome rifle. Go subscribe to his channel. I'm sure he'll do some videos on it. Signing it in this summer and stuff, getting ready for hunting season. Uh, Forrest did a super chat. Appreciate that big time. Really appreciate that. How long have we been on here? Uh, it doesn't matter. We still got stuff to talk about. <clears throat> Two wheel says 762 by 39 for hogs. Absolutely, that would work. That's one thing that I don't have that gets suggested a lot. I don't have a 762 by 39 caliber gun. Sometimes I get to borrow some. AKs, SKS, uh, SKS, or AK, I'll throw into that next guns I need to buy because you guys request it by 39 so much. Lord of the Fly says, Thought I was subscribed already. Yeah, I'm not. I, this week I've gotten five messages from you guys on Instagram, people saying, YouTube unsubscribed me from your channel. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened either, but YouTube does squirrely stuff like that all the time. Brandon wants a 50. They're fun, but if I wasn't making YouTube videos, I probably wouldn't have 50. I mean, that's another one I want to take a deer with this year with the 50, but 50 is awesome. First name says 7mm Magnum versus 300 Win Mag. So if you haven't seen them yet already, we've already done that like five times in videos. Shooting steel, shooting blocks, um, doing the water jug test, doing the paper plate test. We've already done all of that with 7mm Magnum versus 300 Win Mag. That's how like I love 7mm Rim to Magnum so much. Everybody loves to hate, hate on my Remington 770s, but... Man, they're cheap rifles. Magnum rounds that shoot good. Christian says, Boyd's has been around a long time. Um, yeah, Boyd's. A couple people asking what brand those stocks are. They're pretty cool. Buffalo's Outdoors. Everybody go check him out. He's a good dude. We haven't met, man, face to face, but we need to hang out sometime. Maybe we could make that happen this summer. I'll run up to Kentucky, man. We'll hang out. Uh Everybody check out Buffalo. He's got good videos. I literally watch all his videos. Uh, anyone have that American Psalm G3? I don't know what that means. Uh, first name's got a 300 Win Mag. Uh, Rapana says, y'all are talking some crazy stuff in the chat. I don't even know what you said. Uh, but I'm going to try to wrap this up. I'm going to go cut the grass. I just made my coffee before I turned this on, and I haven't even taken a drip of it. It's still good. Uh, but do you glass bead your stocks to the upper? I have never put a stock on. This is literally the first stocks I've ever put on. So, I, uh, yeah, Pat says he's bummed out NRAM. Dude, I, literally, since the last NRA show, that's been number one on my mind. Like, I love it so much. Like, everybody wants to talk trash about the NRA. I really don't care. You know, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not going to get into the political stuff, but I love seeing people. I love getting to talk to all the manufacturers and learn about new guns and all that stuff, getting to hang out with a bunch of friends and, yeah, hang out with a bunch of gun people. I don't get to do that. Most days, people I see at work are, are not gun people. I only get to talk about guns with you guys and Paul. Um, uh, Nathan just bought the Savage 10, 10 BA. Dude, you're going to love it. Savage. For the money, Savage rifles are the business. If you're looking for a bolt action, I've got a lot of Ruger Americans because they're cheap and they work good. A 6.5 Creedmoor with Alabama Arsenal, all day at 1,000 yards. $400 rifle, 1,000 yards. Uh, and Savage, for the money, Good stuff. Good triggers. I love Savage. Uh, Y'all go go send a bunch of messages to Savage to send us in some Savage rifles. Um, top three scope companies. I don't really have a bunch of top scope companies, but I have a lot of Nikons. Nikon makes good stuff. 
Um, and the one I just got from my 308 I was talking about is a ride on. I haven't had a bunch of experience with it, but I've been shooting it a ton in some videos here recently, and I love that one. Uh, also, let a friend shoot it last weekend. That ride on on my 308, and he was like, "Whoa, man, this thing's nice," uh, but it's pretty cool. Farmhand says, "Happy Palm Sunday." Yeah, absolutely. What time is it? My church is doing a live at 10:30 on Facebook. Heavy metal is in here. Yes. So, everybody, if you haven't already, go subscribe to Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors. He has a YouTube channel as well. Biggest number one supporter of the Hootie Hoo YouTube channel. Number one sponsor of the Hootie Hoo YouTube channel. Y'all go check out Paul. Tell him you love him. We had a, I was telling everybody, Paul, if you're still listening, man, about the blast of the time we had yesterday. I'm telling you. We had a crazy time yesterday. We shot a bunch of guns. We did some hooligan stuff with the Ranger. And, yeah, if you haven't been on Instagram yet, Paul, go check it out. And look on my Instagram story. I put up some slow motion stuff. And yeah, it's just cool. Paul did a mega burnout in my Ranger. And it was just cool. We're going to have those videos coming out soon. The the Ranger with no roof reveal. But <clears throat> Richard says, love your videos on affordable and easy to acquire farms. Hey, man, that's me. I'm broke. Everybody tell you that. I'm just a regular old dude. And uh, I appreciate y'all. I answer every comment. I answer every DM on Instagram. I really appreciate y'all big time. That's one thing that really gets on my nerves. If I send somebody a message on Instagram and they don't message me back, I come on, man. So I try to treat everybody like I want to be treated, and I literally talk to everybody and answer all y'all on everything. And I really appreciate you guys reaching out, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. I'm just going to keep talking because we got stuff to talk about. I was trying to wrap it up, but we got 100 people in here talking in the chat. Uh <clears throat> cool paul uh ttc says what's your favorite pistol caliber uh, not counting for money 454 uh, if you haven't seen them go check out the videos on the channel we got some 454 console videos and i love to shoot that thing we don't shoot a lot because the bullets are expensive but that's my favorite handgun caliber if money is what we're talking about i will pick nine millimeter because it's cheap and we can afford to shoot it a lot. Lost on again. Lost on land again says congrats. Hey, I remember talking to you guys when we had like 500 subscribers. So good to see you guys. Everybody go say hey to Lost on land again. Uh, best Creedmoor rifle? Only the really one I have a lot of experience with is my is my Ruger American Predator green stock. And it shoots at 1,000 yards real good. So that's I would recommend that, but that's the only one I've had experience with. Do I have a rifle in 50 Beowulf? Nope. Thomas says 45, 110, or 120. Never shot that. ZZ says, congrats. Take care. Take care, man. Uh, Nate Scott says, what would you prefer for a good scope for longer range shooting? So I'm, I don't claim to be an expert long range shooter. I've only shot long range. When I say long range, a thousand yards, two times. And that's the two times that I. I hung out with my friends at Alabama Arsenal. Uh, but talking about scopes, so again, I'm not an expert in that stuff. And if you want to know about expert scopes about long range, go talk to Alabama Arsenal. But my experience is with my Nikon FX 1000s. I have two of them, and they're they're sweet. They help me hit targets at a thousand yards. Nikon FX 1000. Uh, Christian. Uh, sent a $10 super chat. Appreciate that big time. I really appreciate that. Uh, everybody go check out Christian and say, Hey, uh, appreciate that big time. Nathan says, do you reload? No, I do not. Um, I would like to, I would like to learn about it. Um, only one, I don't really have any spare change to go buy the equipment, uh, which is kind of an excuse, but, uh, and I don't have a lot of time. So, if I could ever get to the point where I didn't have a day job, like I I work a lot for my real job. This is not my real job. This is like my hobby and my passion type stuff. But my real job, uh, that's a very good point, Adventure Cowboy. I'm going to get back to that. Uh, a real job takes up a lot of time. Uh, Adventure Cowboy says, 
except when they fog up on a mule deer. So let me address that. That's a very good point. So when I was hunting with Adventure Cowboy in Montana last year, we had some mule deer. I'm telling you, one of probably the most intense, craziest day of hunting. Well, I'd say tied for two with the day that we actually shot that mule deer. But we did a long stalk, miles and miles on horseback to a secret spot. And uh, we had these mule deer, like 500 yards, 600 yards, uh, had my 338 Lapua and my 24 power Nikon FX1000. And 500 yards, 600 yards, I had practice. I would tell you without a doubt, I would take that shot. Big buck, 500 yards, let's take them. I'm going to pull the trigger. But my Nikon FX1000, which I was just singing the praises of, we were in a snowstorm. And I got a little bit of snow in my scope, which I had scope covers on it, but we were going through some thick stuff. And I think when I brushed up against the trees, uh, my scope cover got pulled off or something while we were on the horses. I got some snow in my scope and I couldn't take a shot on a buck because it was fogged up and I didn't feel good about it. So that's a good point. Yeah. My FX1000 on my 338 fogged up on us in a snowstorm. And I had a shot. I literally could see the buck through it, but it was like, it's like looking at a mule deer through a fog, and we didn't pull a trigger. But we did get a, a a nice mule deer buck two days later. Shout out Clayton Adventure Cowboy, absolute blast. I put in for tags for Montana again this year. We get the draws uh, here in a couple of weeks, so really hope we get the chance to go to Montana again this year. This time I got antelope tag. Elk tag and deer tag to put in for. Uh, that'd be a point. Where's your beard? No, yeah, I shaved my beard. Shaved my beard. Um, what was the deal? Oh, yeah, that was part of the deal with my wife. Uh, that she would let me buy those Montana tags if I shaved my beard. So I shaved my beard. I like to hunt. Uh, what else are you guys talking about? Hey, Sean says, hey, from Canada. That's fogged you, bro. Um, Judge says congrats on 100, but I'm going to jump off here. Appreciate you guys big time. Appreciate the super chats. Uh, big shout out to all my YouTuber friends. If you guys watch the channel, you know who we hang out with all the time. Uh, we've got a bunch of cool people we get to hang out with. Uh, but everybody stay safe. Everybody stay away from people. There's some people. We live in the country and we don't hang around people anyways. But there's some people in the big town next door that they're not listening. And everybody's getting out and about and just being hooligans and spreading all kind of disease. So y'all don't do that. Y'all chill. You know, I hung out with my friend Paul yesterday. That's cool. We're out in the country. Everybody wash your hands. Stay safe. Uh, appreciate y'all big time. Have no idea what it means to me that we hit a thousand. Uh, I, I put my heart and soul into all this stuff. Uh, Anybody who makes YouTube videos will tell you, you know, it's not all butterflies and lily pads. But appreciate you guys. Appreciate your comments. Appreciate you sharing the videos. Appreciate you hanging out. If you're not aware, every single night at 8 p.m. we have a video, and I jump in, and I do it live, and we talk about it every single night. Um, appreciate you watching. Appreciate you guys sharing the channel and shouting us out everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, everything. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, appreciate you guys hanging out with me for half an hour. This has been fun. Let's hit another 100,000. Let's hit a million next year. You know, I think we can do it. We're going to keep cranking out the videos and hearing what, checking out what you guys want to see. Uh, appreciate y'all big time. We'll see you tonight, 8 p.m. Central. Come check us out. Appreciate y'all. Hoo-hoo!